in this video i explain about cow surface submerge in a liquid so first we consider cow surface ab submerge in a static fluid as shown in figure now here we see this is the free water surface and this a to b is the cow surface and it is submerged in a liquid and as we study in the last three cases means for the horizontal surface vertical surface and inclined surface we start the exploration by considering the one small strip which have area d a so same way here we also consider this is a small strip and this small strip have a area d a and this small strip at a depth edge from the free water surface so this is the free water surface and this is our small strip so distance between the free water surface and the small strip is the edge so it is called as the depth of edge this is the second diagram that i explain later on the pressure intensity on the area da is rho g h means equation of the pressure is rho g h and on this strip the pressure acting is the rho g h means pressure intensity is proportional to rho g h rho of the any liquid is constant g is also constant it is 9.81 so h is the variable factor means if h is increase the pressure intensity is increase if h is increase then the pressure intensity is decrease but here we need to find out the pressure force or a total force so what is the force force is the pressure into area and here we define what is the pressure pressure is the rho g h and here we consider the small strip means first we find out the small pressure acting on the small strip and then after we find out the pressure on the total surface so pressure force on a small strip is the rho g h into d a so this is our equation number 1 this force d f act normal to the surface means earlier we study the definition of the total pressure force so this total pressure force is always act normal to the surface normal to the surface means to the 90 degree to the surface so here we see this is the small strip and 90 degree of the strip this df force is acting okay hence total pressure force on the cow surface sol b means first we find out this total force on a small strip now what is the total force on the cow surface so it is f is equal to integration of rho g h into d a means we have a two option either we consider the number of small strip here and we do the summation of this all the force so here we consider suppose df then after we consider the other small strip and we consider this force df1 df2 df3 df4 so instance of that we need to do the integration and when we do the integration of this df here we are able to find out this f so f is equal to integration of rho g h d f this is equation number 2 but here as the direction of the force on the small area are not in a same direction but varies from point to point hence integration of equation number 1 for the cow surface is impossible so earlier we studied the definition of total pressure that it's that total pressure force is always normal to the surface now suppose here we consider this is a one small strip suppose we move here and make the another small surface then what happens this theta angle is change we make third surface here then again the theta is change we make the other small surface here then the theta is change means suppose the for o to a the theta is equal to 90 degree sorry o to a the theta is zero and from o to b the theta is at the 90 degree okay means angle is varies so these things are not fulfill the condition mentioned in the definition of total pressure that is normal to the surface that's why here we are not do the integration of this df but here we need to find out the two forces that is the force dfx and the force df y the problem can however be solved by resolving the force df in a two component 
that is the dfx and dfy in x and y direction so we know generally we throw the graph then the x axis is the horizontals okay so here this horizontal force is denoted by the dfx and the vertical component it is denoted by as the dfy so any inclined force is converted in a two part one is the horizontal force and second is the vertical horizontal force is the dfx and vertical force is the dfy so suppose you think that in a cow surface we are not do the we are not find out the two forces but in a cow surface suppose this is the cow surface then what happens we are making the small strip here we making again second small strip third small strips so these small all the strips have a same angles okay means normal surface angle theta is same in a inclined plates that's why in a inclined plate we not need to find out this dfx and dfy the total force in the x and y directions fx and fy are obtained by integrating the dfx and dfy means this equation is converted in a two parts one is the x and y so when it is converted in a two parts here we need to make the one triangles and this equation is the change so first we find out the dfx and dfy the total force on the cow surface is so total force on the cow surface or it is also called as the resultant force so resultant force is equal to under root of fx square plus fy squares so this is just simple of the pythagoras equation suppose we make here one triangles and from the triangles we can in on the triangles we can apply the pythagoras equation and from the pythagoras equation we can write down that the f square is equal to fx square plus fy squares okay from this f square we remove the square f from the f we need to remove the square then we need to do the root of that second the inclination of the resultant with horizontal so tan phi is equal to f phi upon fx so in a few numericals of the cow surface they mention to find out the resultant force so find out this resultant force we need to use this equation f is equal to under root of fx square plus fy squares and they also tell that find out the angle of resultant force so it is the angle of resultant force is the phi so tan phi is equal to fy upon fx this is equation number 4 now we resolving the force df given by equation 1 in a x and y directions for that here we make one triangles so this triangle this is hypotenuse sides so hypotenuse side is the df here this theta is given okay so this theta is also here the angle is theta so here we mention the theta this is vertical side so it is dfy this is horizontal side it is dfx so suppose we need to find out dfx then we need to apply this equation of the sin theta what is equation of the sin theta equation of the sin theta is the opposite side upon hypotenuse so sin theta is equal to dfx upon df so what is the equation of the dfx dfx is equal to df into sin theta so dfx is equal to df into sin theta and instance of df what we written so in the last slide we study about the df that is the df is equal to rho g h into da okay so here we putting this value of df similarly we find out this value of dfy so suppose we apply this equation of the cos theta here the cos theta is equal to this is the adjacent adjacent is the dfy divided by hypotenuse it is the df so dfy is equal to df into cos theta and we putting this value of df that is rho g h into da so this is the equation of the dfx and df y so total force in x and y directions are means we need to do the integrations of this two equation so suppose we do the integration of the dfx so it is convert into the fx so fx is equal to integration of dfx is equal to integration of rho g h da into sin theta here rho g is the constant so we not need to do the integration of the rho g so integration of h da sin theta this is equation number 5 second we do the integration of dfy here the same things are there rho g is constant so just we need to do the integration of h da cos theta this is equation number 6 now in a figure b we saw that enlarge area of the da so this is the da and suppose the da is enlarge okay and we applying this 
the a side on the hypotenuse so from this figure triangle efg we are able to write down the three things first this ef is the da second f to g is the ba sin theta means just a simple way we applied the equation of sin theta so sin theta is equal to fg upon ef okay so fg is equal to da sin theta then we apply the equation of the cos theta then we are able to find out eg is equal to da cos theta so here we have the various three equations okay so from this equation what we understand so instance of here da sin theta we are able to return the fg and fg is the vertical component means this vertical component is indicate the total pressure force acting and in this equation instance of da cos theta we are write down the eg means eg is the horizontal surface so on the horizontal surface is carry the certain weight of the liquids okay now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video of fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines or other subject of mechanical engineering for the fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now in equation number 5 the da sin theta is equal to fg so it is the vertical projections of the area da hence the expression means here we see that in the equation number 5 so where is the equation number 5 this is equation number 5 instance of da sin theta we are written to fg and what is the fg fg is the vertical components okay so again we go ahead so in equation number 5 da sin theta is the fg and fg is what it is the vertical projections of the area da so this is the fg and what is the fg fg is the vertical projections of the da hence the expression rho g integration of h da sin theta is represents the total pressure force on the projected area of the cow surface on a vertical planes means this rho g h da sin theta equation is indicate the total pressure force acting on the cow surface so what is fx fx is the total pressure force on the projected area of the cow surface on the vertical plane and suppose we further simplify these equations of the total pressure force we get this equation that is the rho g a into h bar so this equation is similar as the last three case equation for the horizontal surface vertical surface and the inclined surface now again we know the what is equation number 6 so equation number 6 is rho g integration h da cos theta so in that equation what is the da cos theta da cos theta is the eg and what is the eg eg is the horizontal component of this da so what is h da is indicate so h da cos theta is indicate the volume of the liquid contained in the elementary area da up to the free surface of the liquids thus integration of h da cos theta is the total volume contained between the cow surface extended up to the free surface so this equation is indicate the total volume contained between this cow surface to the free surface of the liquid means in this part what is the volume of the liquid or air it is find out by using these equations or by finding out this fy hence rho g integration of h da cos theta is the total weight supported by the cow surface okay what is the fx fx is the total pressure force what is the fy fy is the total weight supported by the cow surface up to the free surface of the liquids so this is the equation number 8 means total force is find out by this equation of the fx equation of the fx is the rho g a into h bar and the total weight supported by the cow surface it is find out by using this equation that is the fy now here we see that this below this cow surface there is a liquids are there okay and here we see that this fy force or dfy force is acting in the downward direction now but suppose this cow surface is putted on the other surface okay means no liquids are there 
below to the cow surface then what happens so this is the initial diagram that we seen but here you see that is the second diagram okay in the second diagram here we see it is the fixed surface and on the fixed surface the cow surface are there okay the cow surface ab is not supporting any fluids means here we see this ab surface is not supporting any fluids because it is on the fixed surface then what happen so in a such a case is fy is equal to the weight of the imaginary liquid supported by ab up to the free surface of the liquid but the direction of fy will be taken in a upward directions here we see in earlier case it is considered as in downward directions but for such a type of this case the fy is considered in a upward direction so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends